Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a get ready with me because I'm going to see Kanye tonight and I'm super excited. Me and Mark randomly got these tickets like last week or the week before from Connect. So thanks to the plug for getting us these tickets. We are going to just be music out because we're going to see Kanye tonight. We're going to the iHeart Music Festival this weekend in Vegas and we're going to be seeing a bunch of people this weekend. So it's just going to be like concert after concert after concert. After but we love music and he is such a music fanatic and almost low-key is more into music than me and I'm pretty into music on multiple levels like I used to play an instrument I listen to music all the time and he sings and dances and all kinds of stuff so we're about to have a great time and so I wanted to film for you guys my process of getting ready um first let's talk about my hair so these are curly clip-ins from curly heaven I will put my coupon code down below the this is actually one pack that I have in my hair. I'll put more of the information down below. It's pretty long um, and I blended it with my hair in a wash and go state and then the hair itself is actually a twist out that I did yesterday. So um, so yeah, this isn't as full as I want it, which is why I'm kind of doing a makeshift hairstyle with the clip-ins right now, but I will be getting another pack to fill it in more and doing a whole different video about these clip-ins. So that will be coming probably next week. So just stay tuned about that. I will give you guys all the deets and everything because you guys, these curly clip-ins are bomb. This hair is bomb and I'm just like, very very happy and excited about them because I'm gonna be doing so many things with this hair because I can you know wear it out and uh, wash and go like this I can blow them out and wear like you know different styles whatever as if it was my own natural hair so yeah um with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and get started my hair is in a bun so this is all of my hair right here um, because I didn't have enough clip-ins to fill up to the top of my hair I was trying to figure out ways to you know still wrap the clip-ins without all of my hair out so we're gonna do a turban um, half turban I guess because I'm only putting this part up and then this part is gonna stay out and I'm just gonna show you guys how I do this if you guys want to see a full turban tutorial I already have that on my channel I will link it right here for you guys or this side whichever side the little I suggested video pops up for you guys um I did that video a few weeks ago and so actually that was like a month or two ago now but I am going to be doing um this now on top of my head you could also do this with leggings I have seen my girl Alyssa Alyssa forever she did a video um with leggings doing this style and I think it's so like perfect for if you have like wigs and stuff that are like you know you don't got the closure right or it just looks like unnatural you can always put a turban or something on top and it still gives you a super chic and cute look edgy look and you don't have to uh you know put heat on your hair or do anything and i think that's like the whole point of you know trying out different styles especially with natural hair it's like you know it's like kind of a fun challenge like how can i do a bomb style without putting heat on my hair <laughs> you know like that's what I'm always thinking of because I want to do things and like have fun with my hair oh shoot so this one is tricky because of like the way it is uh wrapped but we're gonna make it work um this isn't gonna sit as tight on my hair as uh as I usually like my turbans but that's okay we can make this work for the night um but yeah so um, what was I saying? I don't even know. I'm rambling, but oh gosh. Okay, so I haven't done this a ton of times, so I'm still trying to master, like, how I do this specifically, um, and I might have to redo it because it is kind of coming off my head already. So let me redo this really quick. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna reposition my little bun so that it's, like, out more so that I can hook onto this and have that hold my hair up, or I might do it up here. I don't know. I don't know, I'll put it down here and try to do this again. Like this is the tricky part of doing this. And the reason why I'm doing this first is because I'm doing my makeup and I don't want to like do my makeup first and then try to put this on. It'll just be like annoying. So, cause I don't want to get makeup on my scarf. So let's try this again. Ugh. you can see my bun so I've got to redo this again 
I'm gonna get it, you know? Maybe the third time will be the charm. Okay, we're gonna cover that all the way. Pull this to the front. I need to put on some music. All right, put that there, put that there. I might bobby pin it in the back to just secure it. Maybe that'll help, but I don't know. We'll see what helps the most. We're experimenting right now. All right, y'all, I think this is it. I think this is it. I've got it tight. I've got it tight. Roll it. We can do this, Jay. We can do this. We can do this. Maybe I need to tie, like spin it all the way first and then wrap. Oh yeah, there we go. Now, that's gonna bother me. All right. All right, I think we got it. I think we got it. Perfect. All right, cool. So now our hair is done, basically. Um, and I might just be pulling this down throughout the night. But this is a good way for me to try this style out because I kind of want to wear this for Beautycon low-key. But um, I don't know yet because we're going to see how long it lasts. It doesn't feel super tight, so we'll see. But yeah, look at that. So good. Like, it's cute. We're ready to go. Now I'm going to do my makeup. Um, and I'm going to be doing just like my regular go-to kind of look these days because um, I don't want to be too done up because my outfit is kind of chill and I want my makeup to be chill but still like you know done so I'm actually gonna be using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundations tonight um, this is in the color amber so I picked up amber and almond if you guys haven't seen these yet I got these two they don't like they don't look that different um, but they are like uh, almond is slightly darker I'm gonna be using amber so um, oh psh, I'm like skipping steps so I need to do my um, beam team first I always do this this is number one because it works as a primer but also a way to give my skin like a luminous glow and all that underneath my foundation I love it let me move my hair out the way so I'm going in with amber all over and um, I actually filmed another uh, get ready with me like a couple weeks ago actually like three weeks ago now that was supposed to go live last week um, and even going live last week was kind of late because I filmed it a while ago but I just filmed a bunch of videos kind of in the same like couple days and I was trying to get it to where I um, posted that but instead I posted my we have to be the light video and I'm just blending this out y'all um and so oh I need to dampen this because this is kind of hard to blend yeah so I I filmed that video the we have to be the light video and you know I was really debating on even posting it because I was like Ooh, you know, I always get nervous about videos where I get super emotional on camera because it's just kind of like a level of vulnerability that, you know, is hard to just like hop up and do. But, you know, I, I really, really believe that showcasing those aspects of me to you guys does more good than I even imagine. And I know that because you know, when I see people that I look up to or people that I admire being vulnerable, it kind of gives me courage to be be vulnerable and be honest and be myself and all those things. And, you know, I want to be that for people too. I want to be that for y'all uh, because I think that we live in such a world where vulnerability is like so, ta like, not what you want to do. And um, I'm just going in with my uh, Sephora concealer in 06. Um, you know, we're told to be strong and like hold everything in and all this stuff. And it's just like, you know what? Sometimes you just can't hold that, that stuff in. Like you just can't. And it just comes out and, you know, 
to show that type of vulnerability makes you human and you know i always want to be transparent with you guys and honestly like i was super affected i was super affected by the shootings and just everything that's going on in the current state of racism in america and, and it really it really gets to me so i wanted to share that part of me because i think that it's such an important aspect of me and who i am and my kind of social fabric of, of, as a person that i was like i can't not show y'all that aspect of me. i can't show y'all everything else and not that part of me because y'all see everything y'all see you know the ups and the downs and um i want to stay transparent in that with y'all you know i don't want to ever get to a point where like i don't know that i don't feel like i'm my complete self with you so for that i am um or with that i'm always going to try to show my most authentic self with you guys and just know that what you see on camera is what you get like when people meet me in person and everything like literally <laughs> the way that I talk to y'all on camera is the way that I am in person because I don't know how else to be and you know it's like I meet other youtubers and you know sometimes they're not as friendly as you think that they're gonna be or you know or you know whatever and everybody's different like I think some people forget that like a lot of youtubers are comfortable doing what we do because it's like it's like you can be introverted but extroverted at the same time because you're like essentially I'm by myself in this room like I'm you know I'm filming by myself and so I can talk it just doesn't it doesn't feel like I have like thousands of people watching me right now so it's easy to like just talk to a camera um, or easier but you know sometimes when you're like in person Ooh, it's different and some people aren't you know aren't the same and it's only because like I don't know if it's I don't think it's necessarily that people do it out of like you know not caring about their followers or subscribers or whatever but I think it's just a matter of like anxiety like some people are just like really nervous and um, and you know are kind of socially awkward which is why they kind of fell into YouTube because that was their way of being social and being more proactive not proactive but more active you know in society you know type of thing so I always um, I always have to remind myself of that because I got on YouTube I was already super social and everything before and um, I'm going in with coconut Maybelline you already know this is my favorite um, you know I, I got I just did YouTube and not to say that it like I was I was shy before but um YouTube kind of made me less shy and I think it was a combination of YouTube and um you know just my college experiences and having to like do public speaking and stuff like that where you know I kind of learned how to be you know a good speaker and um you know not get nervous in those like types of situations and stuff i'm really not going to contour too much up here because it's color it's covered by my um by my turban but yeah so um i just learned kind of to how to just not be afraid to be myself and you know that's not always easy um and i get that you know i get that for sure because I was weird when I was younger. <laughs> I was weird. Uh, I liked different things. I was, you know, wore crazy hairstyles and liked anime and like liked to draw. And I was always very creative. And I played the violin. And I was just kind of in my own world. But at the same time, I would like I would like stay up all night listening to Jodeci in eighth grade. You know, like I was doing like different things where it was like I was very much a combination of my environment I was living overseas as a kid so I was exposed to a lot of foreign things but also like all of my friends were black um and so that's where I learned a lot of you know culturally black culture and things like that I didn't live in the states as a kid I um lived overseas um as a military brat so you know I just learn things on the go and on on through life and different experiences and stuff I'm gonna put on these lashes here that I got at Target these are the allure I lure London lashes um, these are what which one are these I don't even know what they're called 
um, definition. I don't know, um, but they're these ones, if you guys can see that. So I'm gonna put those on in a second and do my brows real quick or finish my brows. I'm just gonna put like a clear gel on them to set them. Oh, but we were talking about Empire though, before I got like sidetracked talking about the cast. Um, but I got to meet Lee Daniels and all that, which was really cool. Um, and so, um, the episode was crazy. Like, so much is happening in one, in one episode. It was crazy. I don't want to like be like a spoiler for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. But you should totally, if you're not watching Empire, you should totally go binge watch like the first and, and second season. And then start watching this season because it's just so much. <laughs> so much going on. And I can totally appreciate the fact that they actually have really great music in on Empire. Like seriously. Um, and I appreciate that so much because it could have been such an afterthought but they made the music just as important as the actual storyline itself. I'm gonna see if these fit. I'm just gonna do like a flat lid basically. I think I'm gonna play with this pure one. It's just this um, pure palette. It's their Soulmates, Soul Mats, Soul Mats palette. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm probably gonna do something really basic um, because I don't want it to be extra. I'm gonna take lighter brown like camel color in my crease which it's so much the same color as me <laughs> don't you hate that like you see a pretty color and you're like oh wow that's so pretty but it's the same color as my skin so it's not gonna show up so I'm gonna take a little bit of this darker brown and kind of Fill it in a little bit. So we're gonna go just start a darker color. Cause you can, you'll be able to see that. And I don't want this eye makeup to be too like intense or anything. So that's why I'm like not really like tripping about like, you know, how light it is or anything. Cause it's really not like super, dark or anything um or pigmented in my in the uh camera right now so that is fine with me because i don't want it to be anyway all right all right all right all right all right, where are my lashes? Going with bronzer, Laura Mercier in bronze 04. Okay, so makeup is done. And now I'm just gonna throw on my denim jacket that I'm wearing and I'll show you guys my outfit. I'm still trying to decide what shoes I'm gonna wear. So I'm gonna show you guys the shoes and the outfits that I'm contemplating. I'm wearing this denim jacket um, with these leggings. I don't know if you guys could uh, see. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm trying to decide if I wanna wear sneakers or if I wanna wear heels. So this top is like a Nike tank top type of situation. Um, and then I'm wearing these dry fit Nike leggings. Um, this is like a sculpt top, if you guys can see. This is like a sculpt top, so I'm trying to like, you know, suck it in. <sighs> suck it in as much as possible. <laughs> um, but this is like a, this tank top is like spandexy, so it's like um, fitted. Um, so still not all the way comfortable, but we're almost there as far as like, you know, working out and all that stuff goes. But yeah, this is the look here. I don't know how in focus I am. Hopefully it's clear enough for you guys to see. And I'm gonna show you guys the shoes. So it's going to be between, where are my shoes? Oh, it's gonna be between these Hirachis, which will obviously be the more um, comfortable uh, option. 
these babies right here. I think I'm going to do these because these are more me and not as chill. But these I got from Steve Madden. They're super cute. Very comfy. So I'm going to probably rock these because I think I like this combo better than like the sneakers. I think they're just too chill for me. And yeah. So I'm going to wear this and these, this combo. So I hope you guys liked this look. Obviously I'm going to take pictures and post on Insta and all that. But yeah, I'm so ready to see Kanye. Until next time, you guys, I will talk to you later. I love y'all so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. See y'all later.